Hello, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about uh, finger clubbing. So some questions you may be asked on uh, finger clubbing. What have I seen here? Of course, finger clubbing, outline staging, outline known causes and classify appropriately. Okay. So for introduction on finger clubbing, uh, I have to know that clubbing is a clinical descriptive term. Differing to the bulbous uniform, swelling of the soft tissue of the terminal phalanx of a digit with subsequent loss of the normal angle between the nail and the nail bed. That's finger clubbing. Okay. Then uh, digital clubbing is classified into primary, that is, idiopathic or hereditary, and also secondary forms. The digital clubbing may be uh, symmetric, bilaterally, bilaterally, or it may be unilateral, or move a single, or involve a single digit. Then anatomical considerations such as the class, classic measurement of the lobe bond angle, or the or the more recently derived index of nail curvature by Go et al. Then usually can be identified on simple physical examination and can be used to identify digital clubbing and to monitor this dynamic process objectively. Okay. The various imaging modalities have been used not only to evaluate clubbing but also to help, help identify possible clues to its uh, development. Okay. So how can you define a uh, finger clubbing? Okay. So this is a bulbous enlargement of the terminal phalanx phalanges due to proliferation of connective tissue between the fingernails and the bone so as you can see this is a clubbed a finger so it's a change to more than 180 degree 180 degrees plus in between the nail and the nail bed okay and then for the charge like we said we have uh, clubbing can be idiopathic or secondary to many underlying pathologies in the various uh, organs so starting with the idiopathic primary causes, primary causes include uh, a patch demo periostosis, then you can have familial clubbing and hypertrophic osteoarthropath. Okay, then now as we go to secondary causes, so secondary causes you can have uh, respiratory causes. So respiratory causes include uh, lung cancer, cystic fibrosis, uh, interstitial lung disease. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, sarcoidosis, uh, lipo, uh, lipoid pneumonia, empyema, uh, plurimethotherioma, pulmonary artery sarcoma, lying, lying aitated cysts, and uh, Eisenmenger Eisen syndrome, which is just a severe form of pulmonary artery hypertension, and the also of pulmonary metastasis that's under respiratory causes then under cardiovascular causes you can have congenital cyanotic congenital heart disease then other causes of right to left chanting you can also have uh, bacterial endocarditis where the scoring system for empiric treatment of infective endocarditis include uh, clubbing okay that's the respiratory uh, what is that's the cardiovascular causes and under gastrointestinal disease or uh, GI causes, so we have uh, selective colitis, Crohn's disease, malabsorption syndrome, polyposis of intestine, leomyoma of the esophagus, canabacaresia, and peptic ulceration of the esophagus. Then under hepatic causes, we can have uh, primary biliary cirrhosis, can have cirrhosis of the liver, can have hepatopulmonary uh, syndrome, can have a liver cancer, we can have an hepatorino syndrome. These are some of the uh, secondary causes. Then the, la the others, secondary causes include the uh, integumentary or skin diseases. So integumentary causes, we can have uh, demo periostosis, uh, Thomas syndrome, Fisher syndrome and uh, pomo planta keratoderma, Vlasvic uh, syndrome, 
can also have uh, malignancies such as uh, thyroid cancer, thymus cancer, Hodgkin's disease, disseminated chronic myeloid leukemia. We have uh, poems such as uh, polyneuropathy, organomegaly, endoneuropathy, mono, monochrono, gamopathy, and skin changes, uh, which is a syndrome, what is that is rare, paraneoplastic syndrome, secondary to a plasma, cell dyscrasia, in which scrubbing may be seen. And other findings include peripheral neuropathy, organomegaly, endoneuropathy, mononuclear plasma, proliferation disorder, skin changes, sclerotic, sclerotic bone uh, lesions, then you can have Castleman's disease, thrombocytosis, papilledema, uh, peripheral edema, pleural effusions, ascites, and white nails. Those are some of the other findings. Okay. Then you can have miscellaneous conditions such as acromegaly, thyroid acropathy, uh, pregnancy, and an unusual complication of severe secondary hyperparathyroidism. Sickle cell disease, hypoxemia, hypoxemia possibly related to long term smoking of cannabis, kind of familial or congenital genetic as well. Okay, those are some of the causes of a finger crabbing systematically. So, usually we classify the causes as primary and secondary, then, secondary we classify them with the system. Okay, then what causes uh what causes survive, what causes unilateral clubbing? So meaning someone present with a finger clubbing on one side. What could be the causes? So you can have cervical rib, you can have panicos tumor, you can have aneurysm of the subcrabian artery, you can have pre-subcrabian or coarctation of aorta, you can also have an atrioventricular fistula, which is a heavy fistula involving brachial vessels. So these are the causes of uh, unilateral clubbing. Okay, then pathophysiology. So the specific pathophysiology mechanism of digital clubbing remains unknown. So main theories, of course, have been proposed. And uh, yet none have received widespread acceptance as a comprehensive explanation for the phenomenon of uh, digital clubbing. Then as stated best by Samuel West in uh, 19, 1897, he said that uh, clubbing is one of the most one of those phenomena with which we are all so familiar that we appear to know more about it than we really do. The alterations in size and configuration of the clubbed digit result from changes in the nail bed, beginning with increased interstitial edema early in the process. Then, as the clubbing progresses, the volume of the terminal portion of the digit may increase because of an increase in the vascular connective tissue and change in the quality of the vascular connective tissue. Then, although some cases have been associated with spurs of bone on the terminal uh, pharynx. Okay, so meaning most of the uh, clubbing are, are due to the increase in connective tissue in between uh, in the distal pharynx. Okay. They now do grade clubbing. So how is how are the grading? So there are two types of grading system. There's one which ends on uh, grading uh, four, and the one which can end on grading five. So that's how it is. Okay. So this one I'm going to give you both. I Meaning I'm going to give you the one which ends on five. Then I'll point out to say uh, if you want to end on four, so you end on E. If you want to end on, that's how you do it. So one is softening of the nail bed and increase in fluctuation. Or you can say just increase in fluctuation. Or fluctuation of the nail bed. That's you can still it's okay. Then two is obliteration or loss of the onicodemo angle or the low bond angle. Then uh, three that's increased anterior posterior curvature or increase in curvature. Then four uh, that's all three four increase in pulp tissue drumstick appearance or parrot beak then five that's hypertrophic osteoarthropathy so you can even add with shine appearance but just hypertrophic osteoarthropathy 
is just fine. So the way I remember it is F L I D and then H O. So F is for uh, stage one or grade one where is fluctuation of the nail bed. L is for loss of the lovey bond angle or loss of the oncodemo angle. I is for increased curvature or increased anterior posterior curvature. Then D is a uh, drumstick appearance. Okay. Then H O is hypertrophic osteopathy. So it reads like a uh, free do. Okay. That's how I remember the grading of uh, clubbing. So free do. Okay, so that's the grading. So if you want to grade the ones which, which ends on four, you, they just remove the uh, drumstick appearance. They just say, or oh, uh, the one which ends on four, they remove the hypertrophic osteopathy. So it just ends on drumstick appearance. So fraction of the no bed, loss of uh, rough bondango, increase in curvature, then drumstick appearance. That's all. Okay, but if you want to the one which ends on five, they include the hypertrophic osteoarthropathy okay then investigations so investigations there are no investigations of uh, choice or any investigation that you can actually do to see someone as clubbing you can just examine and see if they have finger clubbing you check for the shamroth window okay but these investigations we are going to go through are just helpful in determining other other things not necessary for you to make a diagnosis okay so investigation number one we can have a next term tc 99 meter skeletal imaging with good quality views which may be helpful in determining in determining the uh, the presence of an extent uh, uh, changes in club digits which shows increased intake of the uh, the denuclide, the increased uh, intense symmetric optic, symmetrically, uh, typically is uh, localized to the nail beds and uh, may result from increased blood flow and changes in the surrounding soft tissues. Okay. Then you can also have another investigation which is a thermo, uh, thermograph, which is another imaging modality which is being studied for use in the diagnosis and monitoring of a patient with digital clubbing the patients may show increased temperature in the distal digits which can be attributed to an increased uh, an increase in blood flow secondary to vasodilatation but not all patients with clubbing have positive thermographic results then another test we can do is a post is a postron emission tomography which also has been used to study the glucose metabolism of club uh, digits then an increased signal indicating increased glucose metabolism has been demonstrated in the distal part of the clubbed fingers so these changes are not seen in fingertips with normal morphology then the increase the increase in signal supports the theory that clubbing is caused by the presence of a, of a factor. So, for example, plated derived growth factor that increases cellular metabolism. Okay. Then other investigations we can do. So, other imaging studies such as um, a computed tomography or magnetic resonance imaging, the MRI or CT scan, may be helpful in evaluating the patient for the primary pathological process causing the clubbing. Then use of high frequency ultrasound imaging has also been advocated for the diagnosis of clubbing. Okay. Then ultrasound in primary hypertrophic osteoarthropathy may show echogenic tissue surrounding the long bones, likely a reflection of edema and inflammatory tissues. So the, uh, the how it, does it present? So presentation is usually loss of the shamroth window. That's why I said most of the time, is if you just see uh, someone as the rest of some window, so you tell them to. If you have to tell them to do like this, so they put their f uh, fingernails together like this, then if the, the shamro window is present, then they they have a normal uh, uh, fingertips, then it's no clubbing. But if they do like this and there is no 
uh, Shamroth window, there is loss of the Shamroth window. Then the Shamroth sign is negative. Then someone has clubbing. Okay, but like when someone presents like this, of course, you know that uh, okay, these are now uh, drumstick appearance. This is like grade four. Okay. So in terms of management, no specific uh, treatment for clubbing is available. Then treatment of the underlying pathological condition may increase, or may decrease the clubbing or potentially reverse it if performed early enough. But once substantial chronic tissue changes, including increase, increased uh, collagen deposition, avocado reversal is unlikely. The treatment for related problems such as pain is symptomatic. Such as pain is symptomatic. One uh, is so the treatment of problems such as pain is usually just symptomatic. If they complain of about pain, then just give them maybe painkiller, but not for just for a long period of time. Okay, then one patient with pachydermoperistosis uh, responded to uh, a toricoxib. So, but that is specifically for this uh, cause, okay? So, it just depends on the cause and how early, have you, how early you, you found the finger clubbing. Then, no specific surgical procedures are performed for clubbing. Then, appropriate surgical treatment of underlying disease, such as tumor removal in patients with lung cancer, may improve or reverse clubbing provided that permanent morphological changes have not yet occurred. Then further outpatient care should be guided by the specific primary disease, which is the cause of the uh, clubbing. Then this should be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. So that's the end of, the com of management. Then in terms of complications, so since clubbing is a clinical finding, no direct complications can occur except for cosmetic concerns. So the complications of the underlying disease may result in clubbing, may be numerous considering the wide spectrum of the diseases that are associated with clubbing, like we have said, talked of the systematic causes. Okay, so uh, hence the discussion of, the, of these complications, depending on the underlying cause, is beyond the scope of this uh, story video. Okay. In terms of prognosis, so since grabbing of the fingers is a clinical examination, it is not an independent cause of mortality. However, mortality associated with an underlying pathology in patients with secondary grabbing widely varies. Then for morbidity, which is minimal and typically is associated with a cosmetic appearance of grabbed digits. Then the treatment of the underlying pathological conditions may decrease the clubbing or potentially reverse it if performed early enough once substantial chronic tissue changes including increased collagen deposition of occurred reversal is unlikely so for prognosis of the underlying disease should be determined on an individual basis okay so that's the end of the of the lecture then you can just answer the questions so what is the abnormality seen of course finger clubbing i'll try and it's staging so it is 2.5 max so meaning at least it's so it's ending on grade one two five so you have to remember the mnemonic f l i d h o so frido so fractation of the nail bed loss of the low bone angle increase in curvature drumstick appearance then hypertrophic osteoarthropathy then i'll try known causes and classify and classify appropriately so known causes, you classify them with primary and secondary. That's one. So under primary, you mention those familial, crabbing, you mention uh, pac, pac demoperistosis and other primary causes. Okay, those are idiopathic causes. And then secondary, again, you classify it as, as per system. So we have uh, respiratory causes, cardiovascular causes, GI causes, hepatic causes, uh, integumental causes. That's how they want. Okay. Then an, an alternative uh, an alternative question which can be asked about finger clubbing is uh, look at the uh, look at the image so I want to look at the image uh, or the picture carefully and answer the below so one we have uh, what do you call the 
green cosine of in the picture finger clubbin mention one cardiovascular one respiratory and one gi cause of your answer above then mention the first four stages of your answer in question one that's how we can be asked about finger clubbing okay then that's the end of the tutorial uh, thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell notification and see you on the next uh, tutorial video thanks once again